All right, after the big move, after Leo Messi to Inter Miami, we had another big one today. That's the Jude Bellingham move. Jude Bellingham leaving Borussia Dortmund and joining big Real Madrid, 19-year-old, for 133 million euros, from what I read. I think it's 103 up front and then some add-ons. They're going to bring it down to about 133 or 239 million euros. From what I heard, it's going to be a... Long-term contract, five or six years for Jude Bellingham. I mean, he is 19 years old, so that's a big one. He's been the talking point in Germany. He just won play of the season in Germany, so that's Germany's best player. It's rare to see Germany losing, Bundesliga losing the best player, and they're not going to Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich is notorious for getting all the best players in the Bundesliga. Hasn't really been the case the past year or two. They've been kind of sprinkling, spreading out. And even Bayern Munich had to recruit like Sadio Mane for a big fee, which is uncharacteristic for Bayern Munich. But nonetheless, Bayern Munich did not get that one, especially both of the Dortmund player. They tend to go to Bayern Munich. I mean, we see with uh, we saw that with um, Lewandowski, we saw that with Zula, we saw that with um, who else? Oh, Guerrero just signing. You know, is in talk signing today for Bayern Munich. So Bayern Munich is notorious for getting both of the Dortmund player. I think that's what Bayern Munich does to keep themselves top of the league and nobody else has win the league in Bundesliga. Now, obviously, Jude Bellingham is going to have to be included in the starting 11. Now, is it guaranteed he's going to be in the starting 11? I think so. I think at first, I think the starting 11 spot is his to lose. It's not something he's going to battle to earn. At first, I think he's going to have it de facto, but he's gonna, if he doesn't perform, he can end up losing it because, I mean, this is a young midfield. I mean... Poor Kamavinga, is he still going to play now on the left back? Because you have Chouameni, Jude Benningham, Fede Valverde. I'm guessing Tony Kroos and Luka Modric are going to be the, the mentor of these guys. Uh, they're not going to play as huge, as many as many more minutes that they played this past year. So, Because I think that's what Real Madrid is doing. They're kind of refreshing the midfield. But now they're going to have four young midfielders. I say Fede Valverde, to me... Has to be a starting eleven. Now like, is the better of, of the four young midfielder. I gotta take him first before I take Kamavinga, Chouameni, and even Bellingham. I think I would prefer to have Fede Valverde. Now people might argue and say Bellingham is a better midfielder than Valverde. Personally, I don't think so. He definitely hasn't proved that he's better than Valverde. Now maybe he has a, a higher ceiling, and he's only nineteen. So you can make that argument that if you progress, if you keep progressing the way he's, he's career is going, he could be better than Valverde, but I just think Valverde, his work rate, he's always, he's box to box, he never get tired, he has that outside shot, and he's just the typical perfect player, he can even play the right wing, and he's, he's uh, more pace than Bellingham, and he's tracked the ball better, but it's debatable, I think Valverde is better than Bellingham at this point of their career, now Bellingham might be, end up being better than him, but to me, on that midfield, I'm going to get Valverde first. Then you're going to have to have Bellingham because you just signed it for a big fee. You're not going to put him on the bench. And then, who's the third one? Now, does that mean Chouameni, Kamavinga, Modric, and Tony Kroos are going to fight for that last spot? Or is our Modric and Kroos going to be strictly playing for Cups, you know, Copa del Rey, and stuff like that, and some domestic league, and the young midfielder will be playing the bulk of the season like those type of matches that nobody wants to play or matches before the Champions League that those big players don't want to play because they don't want to get injured before the Champions League or is it going to, are they going in a full rebuild mode like typically are they are they just moving on getting the young blood before they move to the big you know big Bernabeu um, up in December so I think Jude Bellingham like I say is going to start is coming in as a starter for sure in the starting eleven. Kamavinga is going to kind of lose his place because, now this is the problem, it's really good to be um, a jack of all trade, but the problem is if you're kind of good at a lot of different positions and you kind of help left back, you help here and help in there, you tend to lose your spot on your natural position. For now, maybe Ancelotti is thinking in his mind, well, Kamavinga can still help on the left, so we're kind of good. If, uh, what's his face, uh, Mendy is injured, Kamavinga is basically left back at this point until they get a, is a, a really good replacement. And now you're going to have Kroos, Modric, Schuameni. Hasn't proven as much as I thought he would have by now, the, uh, last season. He didn't play much 
at the big stretch of the game um, this past season. So has he lost his his coach confidence? Maybe not. I think I think Ancelotti can is a type of coach that can reboot um, try many during the summer. I think it still happened, but I just think it's tricky. Uh, you're gonna have four young players, four young midfielder, and two veteran who can still perform. Look, Amodic is still good, and also Tony Cross is still good. But I just think they're gonna be there to mentor the guys. And I don't know how the midfield is gonna look like. But if I were, if I were Ancelotti, I would definitely pick Valverde first, no doubt. Then you have to pick Jude Bellingham until until he proves you otherwise. And then the third one, you gotta decide between Kamavinga, Cross, Modric, and somehow Chouamini. And uh, yeah, Jude Bellingham could have signed for Liverpool, uh, Man City, Manchester United was not really, it was in the talk last year, but we knew it wasn't going to Manchester United. Liverpool kind of missing the Champions League, if they were out of there anyways. Man City, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I didn't, I didn't really see him play at Man City now, although his friend Orling Haaland plays at Man City, but I think both of them are going to end up in Real Madrid, so Bellingham is just moving there first. So yeah, Jude Bellingham move. From Borussia Dortmund to Real Madrid, how the Dortmund going to replace him? Are they going to reinvest that money? They they really creative at Dortmund, and I, I trust they're going to find somebody. It doesn't have to be as good as uh, Bellingham, or they can get one or two players to compensate because they need a depth in the squad. They were this close to winning the league this season. I don't think it's going to be that close next season. To be honest, I think Bayern Munich is going to crush them next season. But uh, yeah, that's it. Real Madrid got Jude Bellingham.